YouTube. Oh shit, it's cold. Get the heat on in this bitch. Oh my god, all right. Shit, almost forgot my damn talking point. Um, welcome to the Outlet Podcast. All right, so today is what Saturday. This is let, let's just get straight to the point, right? Like my topic for the day, man. This is one of these things that kind of oh uh, grinds my gears. Is a Captain Save a Ho. I can't stand niggas like this. And I also, but I also know where it comes from because I've been this guy before. Let's make a little small side note, right? Anything I tell you about, anything I put on a YouTube channel, anything I put in a video, these are things that I've experienced and been around and have done or have, well, well, been around, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've had some dealing with it. So I'm not just talking out the side of my neck here. But a goddamn Captain save a hoe. Ain't nothing worse than a man that feels like he got to defend the chick all the time. Ladies, I understand that you want respect and everything. I get that. You know what I'm saying? I understand that you want flowers and everything. I get that. I understand you want someone to see things from your view. I get that. But in over here in man world, all right, in the male manosphere, whatever the fuck, all right, it's not a good look for you. For you to be out here just jumping to every bitch rescue, like it. Only time you should really be pulling a chick out some shit is if that's like your friend for real. Like the captain save a hoe to me is an issue because niggas ain't doing it from their heart. Niggas is doing it for pussy. Like I see niggas like they be trying to fight a girl boyfriend. Like it'll be like the chick boyfriend be doing a wrong and shit, right? And you. You you watching of the Captain Save a Ho. You want a motherfucking go. Well, you know what? I'm gonna go fight her nigga because it's wrong that he treating her wrong and everything. He shouldn't be doing her like that, man. Fuck this dude. I can do her better. Listen, man. It don't do no good to save a bitch from a problem if she gonna keep running back to it. Alright? I see this happen a lot with girls. Like I said, I give out a shit ton of advice in my downtime. Alright? And the first thing that I see happen is I'll give advice to a girl. She'll hear me, listen to it, receive it. And somewhere between me speaking, the the sound waves hitting her goddamn ear and the thoughts swirling around and cutting laps in her head. She be like, her nigga text her and like, the same nigga that's been dragging her that she been calling me for about an hour and a half straight. Hey man, I want to see you. You know what I'm saying? Let's hook up. Let's hang out. You know what I'm saying? And then all that advice and everything, that hour and a half I spent trying to talk her through a situation, she go right back to it. So you as Mr. Captain Saberho, it don't do you no good to pull a bitch out of her problems. And I'm saying bitch because that's really what it is. It's a lot of energy sucking going on here. You know what I'm saying? You just getting drained of your resources. Like you out here taking this girl out to dinner and fixing her problems and always being there for her and everything. Fellas, here's the thing. A lot of y'all out here trying to fake to be a woman's friend because you really want to fuck. Half y'all niggas doing this cat hole saving shit is y'all not even doing it because you really care. You're doing it for pussy. That it'd be different if the nigga was a captain save a and that was like his friend for real. Like that's his buddy and everything. And she like only time I would think a nigga should be a captain save a hoe is if that's like a girl he's not attracted to and that's just someone he really, really give a fuck about legitly. You know what I'm saying? But let's be real. If you if your friend is like a fine ass chick, you know what I'm saying, and you just keep constantly pulling her out of shit, but she don't never fuck you, suck your dick or none of that shit for that shit, are you constantly there for her? Like, ladies, I understand you don't get it because you're going to be looking at it as if I'm just talking shit and I'm, you know, kicking down a nigga that's trying to help you. No, I'm speaking from a man perspective. It's a shit ton of y'all niggas out here doing shit for females that's not from the heart. You know what I'm saying? You really, you really, really like this bitch. You basically just a nigga friend zoning yourself. You know what I'm saying? You really want to save this girl. You want to help her out from her problems and everything. But in the back of your mind, you really want to fuck. But she not fucking you because she not attracted to you. You more so her emotional sponge. You know what I'm saying? 
Captain Safer Holes are niggas that every time a girl get in a jam, you got to throw her some money. Every time a girl go through something, you got to blow her phone up. Hey, you know, I just called to check on you and see how your day was. Listen, I'm all for giving chicks advice and, you know, helping them out if I care about it. But if I'm not getting my dick sucked out the deal or fucking out the deal, like I'm down to be, I'm down to pull you, help you out some shit if I'm getting something out of it. You know what I'm saying? And that's basically kind of how you have to do it with the Captain Saver whole shit. Like, if you're going to be helping this bitch all the time, she better be giving up a mean blowjob or get, giving you some good pussy or go, throwing you some food or a home-cooked meal or something. Because it's a, it, from a man's perspective, ladies, like, like I said, I know you're not going to get it. You're not going to get it. Because you looking at it like a nigga just, like I'm blocking you from your blessings or whatever. That's not what I'm doing. I'm trying to save these niggas from going through a bunch of bullshit, helping out a chick that they really want to fuck. And I'm going to keep saying that point because I'm telling you, that's the shit that niggas be saying in the back of their mind when it's a dude that really want to help you. He is not doing, I promise you, I'm not saying that there's no such thing as a male friend. You know what I'm saying? But the majority of your male friends that are just out here just always there for you picking up the phone i'm just really breaking it down a lot of the niggas is always picking up the phone calling you when you're going through something crying and depressed and you know what i'm saying your nigga won't come home at night and everything he want to be with you he just not man enough to tell you you know what i'm saying and a lot of y'all niggas can get around a lot of this bullshit if you just said what you wanted the girls you know what i'm saying but that captain save a whole shit like i've seen dudes out here fighting over the oh like I've seen dudes out here fighting they homeboys because they said that the girl that was actually a hoe was a hoe. Like, now you can't save a hoe, niggas. That's hope for y'all, but at the same time, it isn't. And let me tell you why it isn't. Because with the captain save a hoe thing, it's one of the things you have to learn for yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, this is something I have done before. And it took me seeing it over and over and going through the same old bullshit with a chick. I'm out here calling the phone, checking on her, making sure she's straight. Hey, how you ate? How's your day going? And how was work? And you, you go, oh, well, because here's the thing. This, this is this is where the captain save a hole get kicked in the nuts right here, right? You're going to call her. You know what I'm saying? Checking to see if she okay. Same old usual captain save a hole shit, right? And the first thing she going to be like, oh, I'm, and you're going to be like, oh, what you doing tonight? Or you want to hang out and, you know, let's talk and everything. And she going to be like... Oh, I'm going out to, you know, meet David. Nigga. I've been sitting here giving you advice for hours on end, giving you money for hours on end, pulling you out of shit, helping you out, being a show to lead on when you cry, and you're going to fuck another nigga? I'm just really projecting what niggas are thinking in the back of their mind when it's a girl they've been saving and she don't reciprocate. Cause y'all, a lot of y'all save a whole ass niggas do this shit. Like, you give all this energy to this bitch and she don't give it back. Because to her, you're just a friend. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just trying to help y'all niggas out, man. Don't be a captain save a hoe. I don't recommend it. If I can stop any of my niggas from doing this shit, I will. All right? Hit them, hit my inbox if you need to talk to me. If you feel like you a captain save a hoe, nigga. If you feel like you're going through some captain save a hoe shit, hit my motherfucking line. All right? Like, share, and subscribe.